Welcome back, YouTube. We're coming out in Douglas on earthworms this evening. So we'd have us some fresh earthworms for Saturday. And it didn't take me probably about 30 minutes to dig the worms, so I figured I'd throw the brown buster a little bit with the cork on it there. We can see if we can catch some this evening. Oh, you too little dog. Well, you big enough to eat, but we after your grandma and your grandpa. Oh, you a good size brown. What we want. You little whippersnapper. You sunk that thing like you were something of a gigantic. Hey, must be a hundred of them little fellas down there. Yeah, one a little bit bigger. Whoa, whistle that line, baby. you might be a keeper. I think so. If you don't jump out my hand. Right on out the box. He's still in the boat though. Hey, good size brim. This wind must don't know that March is out. Out of cliff, it ain't blowing. Every time I come fishing, if I come fishing and the wind wasn't blowing, I wouldn't know what to think. Man, y'all hooking that in the hard part of y'all's mouth. There we go, finally. Well, hooked in that nut again. A uh, small fella this time, too. He fell off in the boot. Been in all that pine straw and everything. Whistling that line. Well, I got red breath. Yeah, red breath. Pretty red breast. This is good size. Almost a rooster red breast. I've caught more red breast this year than I've caught in a long time. Now they are good eating fish. Somebody asked me my favorite fish to eat on the comment, and I forgot about the red breast. Now the red breast is also one of the most tasty out of my three favorite pan fish. Um, some of y'all leave a comment and out of brim and crappy and let us know what your favorite some fish is to eat. Right, this one sailed on it like he would. No bull blue brim or something. up the water over in the corner. That sun's right in my eyes. Got that glare coming off the water. <laughs> My 
That one <laughs> hit me, bounced off, and splashed in the box. That was a one in a million shots. Bounced off, hit, hit the side of the boat, bounced in and bounced in the box. Bedded up in there, but I don't see no big ones yet. Good size tan bluegill here. Now I want you to miss the box. You're messing up my perfect throw. I've got my box all slimed up. My sack. The times I have. Another nice brim. Oh, you put up a good fight for it for your size. Oh, good, pretty brown. Man, y'all getting this thing in the hard, tough part of y'all tomorrow. We've hooked into a golly whopper or something now, you two. Oh, gee whiz. I've been wondering where y'all big shell crackers was at. I've been surprised I hadn't caught a big shell cracker up here. on that water it'll make that cork bob up and down and hit a bounce that bait in front of them fish and they can't stand it but that wind also is hard to hold a boat still to fish like you want to fish when it's blowing it affects my bait on here well youtube we come in here and dug us some earthworms and so we'd have something other we could fish with tomorrow Go ahead and release these in back into the river. And we'll catch some of them next time. That's pretty red breast there. I mean pretty red breast. But we didn't catch as many bull bluegill as what we did last time we used the cork. But we still got some nice ones. This is the one that flapped in the box. Pretty fish. But, uh, appreciate y'all for watching and subscribing to the channel, keeping up with it. But, anyhow, when these fish get to be this size right here, like the shell cracker here, they, to me, they lose the flavor. But uh, the brim, I don't care how big he gets, or red breast, so I'll still eat them. But these shell cracker, they okay with me till they get over half grown. I mean, I'll still eat them, but uh, it ain't as tasty. But we could turn her loose and let her go lay her eggs, and maybe she'll raise some more just like her. Release the fishes!